everyone, it's Jenny. I'm checking in. It's Monday morning, April 22nd, and um, I'm heading off to work in a few minutes, but I wanted to check in because uh, this is going to be a vlogging week for me. I'm heading to an art conference for the first time ever, um, and I have a lot of different feelings about that. I'm kind of I'm nervous and excited and anxious about um, remembering all the things because uh, you know when you have young kids and you have to leave them and you're the one that usually does all of the stuff in the house and takes them to school and does the lunches and all those things um, I'm leaving my husband to do all those things on his own and so I have to write some lists and prep all that and um, so that is where I'm at right now a little bit um, anxious and um, you know traveling on my own this is the first time I'm traveling on my own in over a decade um, so yeah I I think that it's going to be a great experience. I'm really looking forward to it and meeting lots of people. I'm going to San Jose, California, which is about a two and a half hour flight or maybe, yeah, just under two hour flight from where I live in Vancouver. And so, um, this is going to be quite an adventure and hopefully you will all find it interesting. And I'll be checking in, showing you packing and airports and all that type of thing. So come along with me. Off we go. Hi everybody. This is Out of Breath Me. <laughs> I felt like I had lots of time to get ready. And it's just one of those things like when you're moving house or when you're... Um, going on a trip, you always think you have enough time and that you've pre-packed and you've got everything ready and then at the last minute uh, it feels like you're not ready. But I am going to stay at my mother-in-law's this evening. She's going to be driving me to the airport in the morning. So I had to kind of pre-prep um, and I think I've got everything. Oh, I suppose I should bring this. Um, yeah, just still th finding things, I guess, that I could bring. And hoping that... Um, it's supposed to be really warm in San Jose. It's supposed to be 27 degrees, 30 degrees Celsius, which... I mean, I'm leaving 12 degrees Celsius, so that's a pretty big jump. And I didn't really prepare for... Um, being in a hot sunny place with hot sunny clothes but we're not really going to be spending tons of time outside it is conference so I'm going to be in a hotel and hotels usually have air conditioning and they're usually quite chill and I so I brought a jean jacket and a shell and a sweater and I know that's probably too much but um, it's not taking up that much room so leaving I'm anxious I'm it's weird to be the one leaving. My husband's usually the one going on work trips and I'm really used to being the one who stays home. And I'm not used to being the one that goes away and leaves the family and uh, goes off on an adventure. So I am very anxious and uh, I hope everything goes okay tomorrow. And yeah, I will check in again. Hey, checking in, so. This is my um, little solace, quiet space before I head off and uh, get on the plane in, early in the morning. I'm going to have to wake up around 5.30 and get to the airport and get checked in for an 8.40 flight. And I'm not really looking forward to waking up early. It's not my favorite thing, but the list has to be done and um, I have to say goodbye to my kids and my husband and that's I don't know it makes me sad it made me sad I'm j I just don't usually go anywhere as I said before so 
um, it's a very new experience pushing me out of my comfort zone and uh, making me grow. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna listen to an audiobook. And, oh, yeah, I wanted to tell you what I will be reading um, and what I'm bringing with me. So, let me get those books. So, my reads for this trip are The Strays by Emily Beto, um, which is the, it was the winner for the Read Around the World book club that Mel from Mel's Bookland Adventures runs, but she um, expanded it to be any of the Stella Prize winners from the last um, five years of the Stella Prize. But I had already, I had voted for The Strays and I had, um, I really wanted to read it. It's about an artist. Um, and so I am almost halfway. I am enjoying it. I have lots of thoughts about it though. And I think that that is obviously because I'm an artist too. And um, so I, yeah, I have lots of thoughts and I'm interested in um, sharing them later. And the other book I'm reading is The Reconciliation Manifesto, Recovering the Land, Rebuilding the Economy by Arthur Manuel. And Arthur Manuel is a very prominent, was a very prominent, famous First Nations Indigenous author in Canada. And this is his second book. Um, and it is kind of a hand book to how to deconstruct the colonial governmental system that is running Canada and make it more fair and more equitable to First Nations people. So um, I'm really interested in reading this. It, it has a really interesting section at the beginning um, talking about showing photographs of Arthur Manuel and his activism and his work. Very, very um, busy person, very, very beloved. Um, he died in 2017. And the book had, was just finished being um, created at that point. And so um, I'm not very far in yet, but I, I am really um, enjoying it. And it is part of my reading a First Nations based um, book, one a month. <laughs> So far, so good. I do need to find some food before I have to go to meetings, but um, I'm gonna sort that out right now, and I'll check in again later. <laughs>
Good morning, everybody. It is day two of my trip, Thursday morning. I've had some tea and oatmeal in my room, just kind of a quiet morning. Had a shower, got ready, and now the day is going to start. Um, uh, my roommate's really nice, so that's good, and uh, I feel pretty good, pretty rested. I slept pretty well, so I think I'm going to be able to handle this day. It's a long day of wrap meetings, and they have lunch, so I think I'm going to be mostly in the hotel today, but hopefully this evening I'll go for a little walk after the icebreaker. I think there's an icebreaker for new new people to the uh, conference. So, uh, so far so good. And um, I will check in a bit later with uh, more thoughts. myself outside of my usual way of being at conferences like this and it or at gatherings like this because I've never really been to um, and I have never been to an art conference before I have gone to another conference um, for my job at the museum but this is my first art conference and I'm really pleased with how it's going and um, but I'm also trying to pace myself so this is my quiet time right now to kind of reflect and to have silence because there is the chance of becoming just totally overwhelmed and um, overstimulated um, but I really think that these types of things are so good for you as a person because they help you to see people who you've encountered online and who you follow and see them as real people and so that's happening with me with several artists some quilt artists and then also um, a really no well-known illustrator Lisa Cogden who many people follow on Instagram and um, met her and was able to talk to her and also listen to her talk and it was really good to, um, it's always good to meet people that you admire and that you follow because I think it helps you to see that everybody's just a person and it makes you feel less um, inadequate or less uninteresting or whatever other things you can feel. So um, it's been a really cool experience so far in terms of seeing people's artwork, talking to people about their artwork, but also their, just their outlook. There's so many different types of people that are here. And here, I think for many different types of reasons. And um, I'm also exploring San Jose. It's a really interesting little city. Um, it has a, quite a unique character. And I'm gonna go 
do some more exploring tonight and hopefully a bit more tomorrow. And um, I think I, I do feel tired today. I think day three of a lot of talking and, and mingling and um, whatnot is starting to wear me down a bit. But tomorrow is the last day of the conference. Or it's no, sorry. Tomorrow is the second full day of the conference, and then Sunday is the last day. But I'm leaving early on Sunday, so I won't be here for the last few talks of the conference. So um, I feel like tomorrow is my last hurrah, kind of, and then it'll be just getting ready to go. So I feel like I'm gonna the rest of it today, and then have more stamina for tomorrow. Um, There'll be some really interesting talks again, and some really um, compelling. There's just some really interesting parts about being an artist, and a lot of people have said things that have really resonated with me in terms of. Someone said specifically that doing this work and um, being part of this organization really does prepare you to be an artist out in the world and people think that this work is not or this isn't work or this isn't important for the bigger picture when it actually is um, it helps you learn to talk to people develop vocabularies for your work and your um, way of being around others and um, the more you do it the easier it gets uh, so that I think that is true, and um, as difficult as that is to accept sometimes when you just feel overwhelmed by the world, that um, what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. So um, I think that's a really great lesson, and um, so far so good. So uh, I'll talk to you again. So I want to just film a really quick uh, conclusion to my travel art vlog from April. Uh, it is a few days later, I'm back from my trip and I'm trying to process everything that I experienced there. And I'm really glad that I went and I think that overall it was a huge learning experience that I'm really grateful for. I definitely started to lose steam by the end of the trip, so there's not as much footage of the trip back as there was of the trip there. Uh, but I think that's a bit of a vlogger um, energy deterioration problem, uh, so sorry about that. Um, overall, what I came back with was a lot of things to think about, a lot of things to strategize, but also just again a real desire to, to hunker down and get into my work and make 
So even though I feel like I'm coming down with a cold right now and other members of the family right now have a cold, so that feels like it could damper um, production and energy levels in the coming days. I'm going to just do my best to um, get going and get making. And so the next art vlog you can expect will be more art making and um, less travel. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And um, if you have comments or questions or um, suggestions for any specific type of um, art-based um, content that you're interested in, please let me know. And um, all my details and how you can find my work uh, are in the description box at the bottom of this uh, video. So I will be with you again soon and thank you so much for watching.